All right, guys, so the uh, Tesla is sold. I actually sold it to Car Buyer USA. Um, got uh, qu quite a few offers on it from uh, Facebook Marketplace, and then also tried using Zoom, or Vroom, I think is what it's called. Uh, what else, Carvana. Some of those places were pretty low ball uh, in terms of the number, but uh, got a really good number from Car Buyer USA. Uh, ended up letting this thing go for $45,000. Um, I paid forty one five just a couple of years ago, uh, so it's pretty pretty crazy. My uh, before I had this standard range plus, I had a standard range, and I bought that car for thirty six five. That was the mythical standard range that uh, everybody thought would never exist. Uh, ended up buying that thing for thirty six five, and then I sold it to Carvana like nine months later for I think thirty six thousand. So. Um, Teslas are a little bit like Apple products, in which case they hold their values quite well. Uh, as you can see, I got a, all, all the stuff out of my uh, out of the car. It's all been reset. I took the Tesla off of my account. Um, one thing I thought was uh, pretty good in terms of CarBuyer USA, USA, they did make sure that I included the charging cable. If you know about Teslas, the brand new ones, the 2022 models, do not come with a mobile charger anymore. Uh, you have to buy um, the mobile charger separately for a couple hundred bucks, or you have to buy the, the wall connector for $400. Uh, and I, you know, the funny part is, is that the mobile charger is actually out of stock. It's not in stock until I think October. So um, I'm really hoping that the next Tesla that I get comes with a mobile charger. Uh, so what do I have plans? Uh, the next one up is a Performance Model 3. I'm going to be looking for white on white uh, once again. The wheels for um, the 21 models, they, I think they're called like Uber Turbines. I think they're 20 inch, maybe 21 inch um, wheels. Um, they look pretty good. The um, 2020 Performance wheels, they do look pretty good as well. Can't complain. Um, but, you know, I think... The price point is right about there. It's probably maybe a thousand dollars more, two thousand dollars more. Um, it's going to come with a completely different interior. Uh, what else? You know, the wheels are different. It's going to have a heat pump, which I'm in Arizona. You don't necessarily need heat pumps out here, but um, you know, if we decide to go up to Flagstaff, where it does actually get, uh, it does snow quite a bit up there, having a heat pump would be pretty nice. And then with the um, yeah, it's funny too because I did actually put on this uh, spoiler myself, which the performance version does come with it. I thought it looked pretty good with that little tiny spoiler on there, so uh, I added that myself. And then it's going to come with a, a power trunk as well. So, you know, overall, um, this is a great car. I think a lot of people will tell you that the SR Plus is a really great car to have, and it is. Uh, it's more than quick enough. I just needed a little little something to tide me over until the cyber truck comes in um, The other thing too car bar USA working with them uh, has been great uh, I will say just like uh, a lot of people that you see online They they give you a really high number They'll have an inspector come out take a look at the car You know they take a bunch of pictures they'll appraise it and then you know they'll call you and, and they uh, they do offer a lower number so um, I was fine with that. This car, you know, it does need some new wheels. It's going to need, uh, or I should say new tires, in about 10,000 miles. Um, there are some little dings on there, you know, just from everyday wear and tear. So they're going to have to fix that. But, you know, it was a good, it was a really good price. Uh, the Facebook marketplace people, you know, you get a lot of uh, people dicking you around. And, you know, they, they, they tell you that they want to buy the car and then they ghost you and all that good stuff. So... Um, Car Buyer USA has been good so far. I actually already got paid. Um, they paid me the difference between what I owe uh, and what they bought the car for. Um, I actually got that less than 24 hours as a wire transfer. And then they also send a picture of the check that they're going to send to your bank as well. So um, overall, you know, I, it's a fair experience. Um, you know, it, it's not surprising that they're going to try and and talk you down on a price, but again, they, they offer the most out of all the different car buying services. So, um, overall good arrangement, this thing, you know, you put this on a website for $51,000, $52,000 on Carvana, and this thing's going to be, it's going to be gone before it even really hits the, the website. So, um, overall, uh, fair deal, can't complain. 
they should be picking up the car either today or tomorrow and then uh, I'll show you guys I'm just picking up the car and then hopefully I can pick up my car from you know from uh, I, I, I'm looking at uh, I think it's called Vroom yeah I'm looking at Vroom right now there's a uh, performance model that's available well actually it's not available it's still going through the CPO process but it's at a really great price and it's a white on white and so I'm looking to scoop that up uh, basically just been refreshing <laughs> Refreshing the web, uh, website until I can see that it's available and I'll scoop that up um, I'm still on the fence if I'm gonna keep these floor mats or not. I did take them out I'll probably use them for a little bit. They don't fit as customized as, I, as I'd like uh, I think you can kind of see it right there where it's bunched up It doesn't really mold that well to the car um, But we'll keep those around until I get something nicer and then you know, I just had Keith from uh, I think it's called Real Cool Tinting. He actually just came out. He did my windshield a few months back, and then I had him come out and do the uh, the rest of the windows. And so now I'm going to end up having him come back out and, and, and tint the uh, the windows on the new car. I'm going to keep this basket. That's where I keep all of the microfiber towels. I also picked up one of these, too. It's a uh, flat tire repair kit. The Teslas, they don't come with a, um, a spare tire. Obviously, to save on weight. It seems like a lot of automakers are doing that these days anyway. Uh, and so I picked up one of those in case I ever get a flat. You know, I can kind of drive myself to a, um, a tire shop and buy a brand new tire versus having to uh, get towed and spend two, three hundred bucks on a tow. And then I don't know if I'll be able to use this in the new one uh, with the new center console, but this is just uh, some additional lighting. Um, for the for the center console these work really well um, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested it's more than likely going to be for uh, 2020 models or less but it's got a really nice bright light in there and then you get some additional USB ports as well as the um, USB-C ports uh, so those are really nice um, and that's oh also these these are really nice too. Um, these are little garbage cans that you can put in the the side door pockets um, You know you just put a little trash can in there. It's funny because um, uh, When people get into my car, I've actually had people push this down thinking that it was how they open the door uh, which was super funny because <laughs> in this in this model here I'll see if the door open in this model um this is where the button is to open the door, but it's just a line. It doesn't have a little symbol saying that this is the door lock. So people never ever use this button. For some reason, people instinctively pull up on this, which is the emergency release. And then what it does is it drops this uh, frameless window down uh, so that people can get out in an emergency. But if you do that enough times, you can actually damage the, uh, the frame in the window. Um, and so I the garbage can here. I'll show you real quick The uh, the garbage can Goes in the door like this, you know, you just drop your trash in there, but people would actually Press that thinking that's how you open the door, which was uh, you know again super funny so And what other thing too, I don't know if you guys have seen in my previous videos there used to be a uh, Elon Musk signature I took that off. I'm gonna have to buy another sticker. I actually bought those from Etsy um, and I might actually put one on the, the power wall once, uh, once that gets installed. But yeah, I think I'm going to title this uh, Car Buyer USA Experience overall. You know, it was a good experience. So uh, I got paid pretty quick. Hopefully the, uh, my bank will do the rest and send out the title and clear me of that remaining debt and then pick up the new one. Anyways, if you guys have questions about Car Buyer USA, if you got uh, questions about the Tesla, by all means, let me know. All right, guys, there goes the Tesla. It's going to be loaded up on the transport. This guy is actually from Miami. Drives all over the U.S. Pretty crazy. Anyway, on to the next Tesla.